Okay, with this particular problem here, we have a mixture problem. So we have uh, two different types of alloys, one with 8% titanium and one with 30% titanium. We want to add those together, combine those to get uh, make 100 grams of an alloy of 19% titanium. So I find it useful to use buckets on this one. So first of all, I'm going to have this X container, and it has 8% titanium, so that's 0 0.08. And then I'm going to have another container, and it has 30% titanium, so 0 0.30. Now this added together, we want a total of 100 grams, so I have X grams of 8% titanium, Y grams of 30% titanium, and I want 100 grams of 19% titanium. So out of this, I can make my two equations and create a system of equations, and then solve by using substitution or elimination. So equation 1 would represent my total number of grams, so X grams plus Y grams equals a total of 100 grams. Equation 2 will be based on the mixture itself. So we have 8% titanium for the X container, 30% titanium for the Y container, and then 19% titanium of the final container, which has 100 grams. So 19% of the 100 grams. So now clearly you can use substitution or elimination on this one, either one that you choose. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use elimination. So I'm going to eliminate the y variable. So I want to make my y coefficient in my equation 1 uh, to be negative 0.3. So I will multiply that top equation by negative 0.30 or negative 0.3. So equation 1 now multiplying by negative 0.3 would give us negative 0.30x, negative 0.30y, and 100 multiplied by negative 0.3 would give us 30, or negative 30. The second equation basically stays the same. Negative 0.08x plus, I'm sorry about that, positive 0.08x plus 0.30y equals 0.19 times 100 is simply 19. Now I can combine these two equations by adding the like terms. So negative 0.30x and adding to 0.08x gives us negative 0.22x. The y variables would cancel, eliminate each other, and that would equal negative 11. Divide both sides by negative 0.22. That tells us that the X container will have 50 grams. And keep in mind the X container represented the 8%. So at the X at 8% would have 50 grams. The Y container was the 30% could be found by looking back at equation 1 and it says x plus y equals 100 so if x is 50 and that's half of it then the other 50 would have to be in the y container or the 30% titanium okay I hope that you found this to be helpful thank you